I want to solve some linear inequalities in one variable and I want to do it in such a way that we see the difference between the addition property for inequalities and the multiplication property. So first of all, I want to solve x plus 2 less than or equal to 6. Okay, I'm going to add negative 2 to both sides or subtract negative 2 from both sides. The addition property tells me it's okay to do that anytime I want and I won't change the direction that the inequality symbol points in. So let's do that. x plus 2 minus 2 less than or equal to 6 minus 2. So on this side I have just x plus 0, which is x, less than or equal to 4. So you can see with the addition property that whatever direction that inequality symbol pointed in in the first place, it continues to point in that direction. Okay, let's go to our second problem, 2x is less than 6. In this case, I want to multiply both sides by 1 half. Multiplication property tells me that if I multiply both sides by a positive number, the inequality symbol points in the same direction that it did before I did the multiplication. So 1 half times 2x, still going to point in that direction, 1 half times 6. So in this case, I get 1x, which is x less than 3. So multiplication property says I can multiply both sides by a positive number anytime I want, and it won't change the direction of that inequality symbol. Okay, my last example, negative 2x less than 6. In this case, what I want to do is multiply both sides by a negative 1 half, and so when I do that, which I can do anytime I want, I can multiply both sides by any negative number I want, it's just that when I do that, I have to also at the same time reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. So it's going to look like that. So it, in this case it pointed to the left, in this case it points to the right. Okay, this gives me just x greater than negative 3. So that's the solution to that problem right there, and I use the multiplication property for inequalities, multiplying both sides by a negative number, which is okay to do anytime you want. It's just that every time you do it, you have to also reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. Let's go to the next board and work another one of these problems. Okay, we want to solve this problem. Negative 2x minus 3 is less than or equal to 7. I'm going to start by adding 3 to each term. I'll end up with negative 2x plus 0 less than or equal to 10. So 7 and 3 is 10. All right, next I want to multiply both sides by negative 1 half or divide both sides by negative 2. Either way, when I do that, I have to, at the same time, reverse the direction of the inequality. Now that's probably the most common mistake people make in solving inequalities when they're just starting out, is to forget to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol when they divide both sides by a negative number, or multiply by a negative number. Okay, so this is going to be x greater than or equal to negative 5. So there's my solution, x greater than or equal to negative 5. I could graph it if I want. So I want to show you another way that I see some of my students work this problem. They just point out a little mistake to you. Let's write the problem again here. Negative 2x minus 3 less than or equal to 7. And let's make this a little bit better, x. Okay, so we start. They'll start by adding 3 to both sides. Okay, that's all right. So I'll add 3 to both sides of that inequality, negative 2x less than or equal to 10. And then the next step, I see them do this, divide both sides by negative 2. Now that right there is a mistake. It's not a mistake to divide by negative 2, but at the same time you do that, you have to reverse the direction of the inequality. A lot of them are even thinking correctly about this because the next step looks like this, greater than or equal to negative 5. So they remember to do it in the next step. But the problem is when you look at this um, series of inequalities right here, you have this inequality. Now you've written this one. It's not equivalent to this first one right here because at the same time you divided both sides by negative 2, you didn't reverse the direction of the inequality. Now a lot of people will just kind of let that go. In my classes I look for that on the student's work and I'll just take off a couple points for it just to remind them that they want to make sure that each step that they write down is written correctly. And so that's why over here when I did the problem, I copied it down again right here so that when I divide it by negative 2, I also reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. So you want to make sure that you do that also. Minus.